bad lieutenant. Looking at the philosophies, stoicism is uh, building for fortitude against destructive emotions, unfazed and clear thinking at all times. Empiricism, empiricism is your senses shape your reality, external influences, whereas rationalism is looking at the evidence before and reasoning gives you knowledge on how to proceed. Uh, there's a fine line between all of those, and I'm pretty sure you could go between all of them. No one is able to uh, be unfazed and clear thinking of all times. No one. Okay. Not even I. <laughs> okay. Empiricism is, is your senses shape your reality, external influences. I think we are all shaped by external forces to a certain degree. Just propaganda being one aspect of it. Okay. And what was the other? Using evidence before reasoning gives uh, rationalism. Looking at evidence, evidence before and reasoning gives you knowledge on how to proceed. Um, and at times, hopefully, a lot of people are using reasoning and knowledge or research to make decisions. I don't think any anyone stays in one state all the time. I think these are a bad lieutenant. What you're stating is these are things you have to uh, understand or use uh, depending on the circumstances that you're in, right? Depending on the circumstances that you're in. So for example, if you're in a fight, like a fight, it's a pretty good idea to be uh, uh, to follow stoicism, stoicism, right? Be unfazed and clear thinking at all times. That would be Bruce Lee, right? Uh, if you're uh, shape your reality, external influences. If you're at a, uh, if you're at a rave, if you're at a club dancing with other people, then empir empiricism would be fantastic because you let the music and the energy of the dance of the crowd uh, to influence you, the external forces, right? If you're doing research into a topic, maybe the most recent pandemic, then it might be a good idea to follow rationalism and use research and knowledge to proceed to the next step, right? All three you could use within minutes of each other really